Hello everybody, here is Georgia from Humble Voice of Tara and this is my new friend Connie. She's a green cheek conner and I'm minding her for a week. I hope that together we can give you a reading for next seven days and I really hope it will resonate with you, that you will enjoy the reading and if you will like it, if you will enjoy it, if it will resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you like to get notifications for the oncoming videos. Okay, so have a beautiful day and let's get to the readings. I hope to say goodbye with Connie. Connie, give me a kiss. Thank you. Bye. Hello Sagittarius, so this is going to be your reading, okay? I'm going to be using this tarot deck from uh, John Holland, which is a psychic tarot for the heart. I'm going to be using as well the Angels Tarot card by Doreen Virtue and Raleigh Valentine. And for clarification, I'm going to be using the small tarot deck from uh, Julia Charman Burke, okay? So let's start. I'm going to put it down so you can see. I'm going to down, put down the light because I realized in previous readings that the light is too bright. So, okay, let's go for it, okay? What's the, mess, what's the messages for the Sagittarius in the month of April for the first week of April? What's the messages for Sagittarius in this first week of April? The next seven days, basically. What's the messages for Sagittarius in the first week of April? What's the messages for Sagittarius for the first week of April? So, this is the first one. Then what's the messages for Sagittarius? Sagittarius in first week of April. What's the messages for Sagittarius in love? For first week of April. What's the messages for Sagittarius in love? First week of April. What's the messages for Sagittarius in love for first week of April? Okay, Sagittarius. So your cards are the nurture, which is the empress, a love, which is the lovers, clarity of belief is a uh, ace of swords, the chariot, the king of earth, and the nine of air, which is nine of swords. Okay, so Sagittarius, what I see, what I see that uh, you have matured a lot, a lot in love at the moment from whatever experience, whatever happened, you basically feel really um, strong and nurturing really like and the mother of love mother of uh the nurture mother of uh all mature feelings basically that's what i feel I don't know why but that's what i feel that you feel i see here on this picture i see just very mature basically you this Week taking love really maturely, really deeply, really carefully. Like 
there is uh, some earth sign which you're interested in okay whether you in relationship or not it could be Taurus Virgo Capricorn or could be somebody with these attributes okay uh, this week it's very strong um, strong energy with the between you because you're really loving caring you uh, maybe for some of you it means that you became pregnant and now you you enjoying the pregnancy maybe you found out that you're pregnant and maybe you're trying to deal with the fact that you're becoming a mother that could also mean if you're not pregnant if uh, pregnant if there is some, nothing to do with pregnancy basically what it means is that you feel really a loved you feel that this that you want to give you want to give love to the one you want you want to express your love you want to nurture them you want to care for them you want to love them be close to them okay with these lovers it's uh, i believe it's uh, both sides it's the love is reciproc reciprocated i can never say that word properly i'm sorry about my english sometimes <laughs> anyway so sagittarius the love seems to be reciprocated look at that how it is beautifully between you okay um there is also a chariot so chariot is underneath the, the uh, empress okay um what i would say is that maybe there is some kind of a trip you're going to absorb maybe there is a some kind of self-discipline and power or will that you want to do want to have a to go to the next level to nurture that person to show them how you love them you're probably gonna be very strongly um giving this week okay uh, the love maybe there is going to be a trip which you're going to absorb maybe you're going to visit them they're going to visit you okay so there are definitely going to be some movements something a which will go also it could um go the right direction i wanted to say also it could mean my thoughts are quicker than what i my my words also it could mean that uh basically you feel that you have it in your hands you're handling it you know that you can handle the situation very well because now everything seems to be harmonic you feel that the love between you and them is very uh, strong or it's real it's not only this little little passion it's it's not infatuation it's a love which is settled especially with them they the earth signs the earth is basically foundation okay the king of earth is really mature person could be older than you or could be just very mature yeah this person doesn't do a uh, fleeting um i don't know fleeting relations or fleeting like dates or fleeting love they do like a mature love okay so you can see that they really do um feel strong feelings for you as well and they may be thinking of you as a potential partner for life okay as same as you feel that they are the potential partner for life okay that's why the love between you look at this beautiful card isn't it gorgeous oh my god i love it that's one of my favorites in this deck so yeah you see how it grows you see the love between you it's growing it's growing and it's blooming okay it's blooming between you and they know it because they set the seeds they they uh, saw the seeds in them as same as you look at that beautiful where is it Look at the beautiful harmony, okay? You see? 
that's you, that's them, and that's the love you share. Okay? The Ace of Swords also confirms the fact that there is a, a communication coming. Maybe there is a new way of communicating together. Maybe there is something which you're going to tell to each other that will be significant. But there is a fear, okay? There is a fear to say it. Maybe there is an anxiety to say it. Maybe there is something you need to sh say to each other. Or maybe you, because it's you here. So I would say maybe you may have to need to tell them something. Or you will tell them maybe you've asked them something and they are anxious. You know, because it's next to them. So maybe they have this anxiety that... Um, doesn't maybe they don't know or you don't know uh, whether whatever the communication was about you fear from it like you fear about it or maybe you fear to say it you know it could be anything could be some something you need to share or they they want to share with you some some communication some some message but uh, there is a uh, fear maybe uh, they are afraid to tell you something it's not that something that it would be bad it's maybe something they are shy to say maybe they are kind of you know like afraid if it's them uh, if it's not you just encourage them tell them that you know they are uh, the right ones and you don't mind anything whatever they, it is that they have to tell you don't worry you know tell them and if it's you that don't be afraid to tell them anything you know the communication is very important between you because the love is already very very strong or more mature okay the seeds are planted de deep so you don't have to worry that they may have they may leave you because of some little situation you may have told them or some little information okay don't worry because like it's very minor this this is minor thing because this love is stronger than some kind of information okay but what I definitely see is that uh, you may be taking a trip together. Maybe you are going to travel to them or they will travel to you. Definitely they are tr maybe traveling to tell you something. Uh, maybe they are traveling because they need to tell you something. So they decide to come to you. That's what I see for now. That's what I feel. Let's clarify some things, okay? Please give me the clarification. Is it the same? Please give me clarification for Sagittarius. Give me clarification cards for Sagittarius. I'm not going to clarify the all of the cards. Just some what I feel that I have to. So give me clarification for the. Of belief. Okay. Nine of air. Give me clarification for the nine of air. Nine of sword. Give me clarification. Nine of sword. Okay. Please give me clarification for chariot. Give me clarification for chariot. And give me clarification for King of Earth. Okay, so let's see. So the Ace of Swords, Ten of Cups. Oh, Jesus. Look at this. You see? Oh my God, that's amazing. Nine of Source has a devil. King of Earth has a tower. The chariot has a page of pentacles. Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> let me clarify the you as uh, the name let me clarification for the nurture the clarification for the nurture What I feel, Sagittarius, is that why you feel the way you feel right now, why you um, come out as an empress is because you went through a lot of pain in past okay you may have through gone through a lot of pain maybe you may have gone through pain even because of this person as well yeah but you may have put your feelings in order and maybe grow out of them learn the lesson and now you feel stable you now you feel loving because you understood something over there maybe you realize that maybe he is worth going for it okay but definitely this is this is the result of this okay this the the empress is a result from that so you went through some kind of pain you were feeling but Possibly because of the tree of swords, it's swords could mean also that it was just in a mind, but also you were you could have been heartbroken. That's why the life learned, uh, taught you to be stronger and to take the love more more maturely. That was maybe something you dealt with in past. Could be because of this person, or maybe you care for this person a lot more and and more more uh, strongly or more kind of uh, comforting because you went through something which has taught you to be that way. Okay, the the King of Earth went through a lot of shakeups. Okay, he must have gone through a lot of shakeups. Uh, the the tower okay so he must have gone uh, through some something which was sudden situation that shaken him to be the way he is now okay so which helped him to love you more okay maybe he found out something suddenly he found something about you that made him love you even more that could mean as well okay so that's why he's more mature feelings yeah some sudden situation or information anything uh, of that matter shocked him that much in a good way that he was very pleasantly surprised and and got more feelings for you that's what i feel okay that's why he may have or that because you went both through this pain and uh, trials and tribulations that's why the clarity believe the ace of swords with the ten of cups that's why the communication is something either they're asking they're going to ask you to marry them or you're going to you plan to ask to marry them you know it's some could be some information about a marriage could be some information about a uh, getting into a commitment maybe coming into a proper relationship maybe you were just dating now uh, the information will be or the situation the communication will be about the next step of your relationship basically to come into the marriage or to come into living together or to come into a, from date to the exclusive relationship okay the fear the fear could be about that that the, the both are feeling uh 
because you may have gone through some toxic relationships before maybe you were feeling trapped maybe the situation between you were was so complicated in the past that's why you are afraid now that maybe this is not going to work maybe you're afraid to tell to each other some something both of you seem to want to the, uh, to be together more but you both afraid to maybe say it you know that could be situation the chariot and the page of pentacles definitely it's going to be a movement towards the more foundation in the relationship you know it could be uh, the trip to settle something which is re related to your relationship something into to begin a new start okay that's what i see but this card definitely is strong it's a major arcana so it's not nothing just simple so you have a strong foundation look at this okay so okay sagittarius i love the reading i'm a sagittarius too as well yeah so um i'm hoping for for the best okay that the things are going to get the right way just don't be afraid just go for it your cards are really good you went through a lot of pain they went through a lot of pain that's why you are here right now okay because you went through those pains you went through this past okay so you have nothing to lose just gain okay that was your reading Sagittarius bye So there was a reading for you. I hope it resonated with you. If it didn't resonate, please come next time or just check the moon sign, rising sun sign or ow <laughs> or Venus sign. Okay. So have a lovely day. Take care and love to all. Bye bye, Connie. Say bye bye. Shh.